welcome back to Fancy and the Geeks for our second asset drop for October. This is the Heroines box. Yay! Yay! So, um, yes. Shall we just get in and unbox yes. it? Yes. So we've already done the Heroes box for this month. So if you've not seen that and want to see that, check that out. So we'll have a look at that in a second. So we've got the knife of knifiness. Knife of knifiness plus three. <laughs> there's something under that. Plus ten to cutting. Right, what have we right. got? Rainbow drops. Rainbow drops. I'm, I'm using my psychic powers, so that's rainbow drops. Not because of the one in the hero drop. Oh. Oh. Rainbow drops. Water effect. Water effect again. And a gondola. That looks posh. Oh. What's this? Ultimate Weathering Wash. So this is the same series place well water effects. So this is kind of ally stuff again. Yep. As was in the Heroes box. This is a gondola. Kind of looks like the Noble one. I noble? think it is. Noble Gondola. Yes. This is the Noble Gondola. And we have... Uh, who's this? White Dove. So, oh. so one of the um, one of the gifted one of the gifted well done I'd forgotten what they were called one of the gifted um, we don't have this model no we don't oh. Oh. This, this is really good so oh, it's actually the same Venice canal it scene. is yeah right so we've got a water effect from the hero box the Venice canal scene from the hero box so I'm not going to open this one because I don't want to lose any parts from it uh, so if you want to see what this looks like, I mean we didn't put it together, but we just got all the parts out and sort of guess where it went because there's no instructions. Um, but it looks like it's pretty easy to go together. Uh, if you want to see that, go and look at the one again. We're gonna look at that and the instructions. Uh, but let's look at the models on this and what's this? Okay. So let's just check everything's in there. So this time we have the White Dove Munition from TT Combat. We have the Noble Gondola from TT Combat. Uh, we have Murky Green Water Resin Effects, which is exactly the same one. And the Venetian Canal Sea, which is exactly the same one. And we have the Algae Weathering Wash, Ultimate Modeling Products Ooh. UK. So, never used one of these before. Uh, the Secret Weapon Algae Wash is my favourite so far. So I'll be interested to see what this looks like. Um, what do we have? I should have a look at the. I'm curious. Now. Oh, this one actually tells you about making a watertight canal. Oh, that's handy. Yes. Uh, it's making watertight. You can smooth the edges. Use PVA glue around your finger or a cotton bud. Smooth the edges wet. Yeah, so that's basically what I was going to do. Then I was going to varnish it. Then I was going to paint it. And then I'm going to varnish it again. So I'm really nervous about leaking through so this gives you a lot more details on how to do the actual diorama oh that's good which will be interesting uh, and then obviously we've got the noble uh, gondola which Claire's just unboxed and then it tells you about preparing the water effect and everything in this one so there's no actual painting to show on this one this is all like coming together so it's quite handy we've got both yes to be fair because uh, it doesn't tie that on in the heroes one. But we haven't put this model together. Or this model together, yeah, even though so we, I'm sure we've got one of these. I think I'm this sure is the one we we've got somewhere. to put together. So this is one we were going to do. So, you know what? Let's do that in this video. Because we've not put these models together before. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is cut off and get rid of all these bits of flash. Cut these off and then obviously it's, it's resin. So we're going to give this a damn good wash. So there is the dove, these two pieces. And all the rest is going to be this. So let's do that first. We'll be back after I've cut these off, given them a wash, and then we'll put them together. Hey guys, so we're back. We've taken them off their sprues and given them a, a wash to get any lubricant or dust or anything from the resin process off the... <clears throat> Not seen it a lot with the TT Combat models, but bigger things like this, I have. Like when, you, when I've been trying to paint the sides, I've found a few little splodges 
where the paint hasn't quite stuck. So they're, they're definitely easily recurrents, like most resins do. So you're always best to give them a scrub in soapy water, mm -hmm. uh, warm, uh, probably with an old toothbrush if you've got one. And old toothbrush, not a new one, don't use it after. No. Yeah. You end up with resin and soapy water and water in your mouth. Yeah. Um, and then give them a good dry and make sure they are dry before you triangle them together. So, um, we will stick the white, white dove together. She's only four parts. And um, we've got the body part, this bit here. And there's a groove there on the shoulders with a little bit cut out. Uh, that is for this part to go on. So I'm going to put some super glue on the... And we're going to glue that in place. The... So again, this isn't a model that we don't have. I've not really got any of the gifted models. So they don't like them. I'm just trying to limit which factions are we using. Yeah. Because we can go a bit nuts. Yeah, like we did with Malifo. Yeah, so you know, not to overface us, we just kept with the two factions each. Uh, but the gifts you can be used in any, fa in any faction as well as the faction of their own. So it's cool to have a couple of them, particularly like the one that's like Pinocchio. Yes. A little marionette one whose name I've forgotten. Um, there we go. So now there's two parts left, which is our head. So that goes in this groove there. There's also a small, hardly seeable groove on the shoulder there. That's where the dove's going to go. Uh. She does remind me a little bit of Celeste. Yeah. She released the dove from her hand. She'd be just the same. Only much smaller. That's going to go on there. And dove goes on the shoulder. Now this is where the glue sticks to me. <laughs> and not to. And not to the model. Like so. Cool. There we go. Done. And then this bit of the cape at the bottom, you would stick that onto the base. But as I'm probably going to be using this as a diorama, what am I going to do is magnetise that so I can use it in Malifo. Malifo. Carnivale. Carnivale. Using Malifo, I don't know. They're about the same scale, actually. To be fair. They They're both are. like 32 what mil. What would she be? Neverborn. A Neverborn, yeah. A cool Neverborn. Um, so, yeah, it's going to go on there. Um, what I might do is magnetise her and then put a magnet underneath the diorama as mm -hmm. well. If I'm feeling fancy. Uh, I'm not saying what I'm going to do with them. I might actually combine the two dioramas somehow. I've got so many. It, it is feeling fancy. But before, before we opened this when I was pretty much set on, right, it's the black lamp. You were going to oh, do. I might have added a Rashara onto the base. But now I'm like, how can I combine these two somehow? <laughs> well, you know what you could do? You could have, have them opposing so each other. Opposing? Like, yeah. Yeah, so one on one side, one on the other perhaps. Because she is sort of looking that way and his lamp is on the other side, so Ooh. it kind of would work. Uh, there we go. So that's her. Uh, the gondola. Right. The gondola. La. La. Gondola. I thought you were going to start singing Wicked then, sorry. Was it? Uh, yeah, I thought you were singing Popular. Oh, sorry. Gondola. There's a bit there. Oops. Which obviously shouldn't be there. I wasn't sure when I was cutting it down before. Right, so we have... I was never quite sure. That must be that side. And that must be... That side! It Yay. lines up. <laughs> it lines up. I'm not too worried about the bottom on this one. I'm not... Laughing now, so stop from coughing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too worried about this bottom part because all of this will be covered by the diorama in the end. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, on the other ones, I've kind of like smoothed this down so they, they line up a bit better. Um, once the water effect part goes on this, you're probably not going to see, see the bottom, bottom part. part at so all. what I'm doing, I'm making sure the top part is definitely lined up. That's what I think you're going to see. So it actually looks like there's a big gap there, and there is. So if you're using one of these in out of alley. Um, what you're going to want to do is either file this bit down or use some green stuff to build it up. Um, this one's not as good as the other gondola. We, Which is in that box there. Um, the one I showed on the other video. Oh, the one, oh, the one up there. Yeah, yeah. So that lines up better. But I said for this, it doesn't matter. You're not going to see that bit. All this bit will be underwater or under resin effect, shall we say? Um, so let's put this let's muggle on here. Let's get it start to dry. Zunk. So I'm making sure it is that top part is lined up. Again, it doesn't matter too much for the game purposes because for game purposes, you're going to go like that all the time. Mm. I'm just a bit of a perfectionist. When it comes to little things like that, <laughs> other things not so much. But uh, things like that. Yeah, there we go. So that's the main structure together. Uh, just put that a second. Uh, these things you could. What you meant to do is. Uh, oh, there's a bit there. It's to be filed down. What you meant to do is stick these in here, um, so you can use them in the game. If we're going to be using this on the actual thing, I don't know whether I'm going to be using them or not. To be fair, I don't think we'll need to because you can just stick them in the yeah, because I'll just glue them straight on them. Glue them straight on. Water yeah. So, so paint, paint to them be before. Fair, <coughs> what you need to do is make sure that bit's flat, which it isn't on these. Um, you can just knife that off or use a, a basic file because resin is not very hard. You can actually scrape that off if. You, if you wanted to as well, uh, but or you could use like the metal scraper tool, it would come off eventually. Uh, whichever method you wanted, get it flat, stick it in. Doesn't matter if they're a bit wonky either, because in reality, because they're stuck in mud, they're, they're gonna work. They're gonna be anyway. with anyway. They're not. If you look at modern Venice, you don't really see it. Much, I actually but... think some of those round ones, I think they are a bit ra um, odd. Because um, the other ones that I've done, yeah, they do go a bit. They do go a bit wonky, and I'm not sure whether that's the moulding on them or whether it's those bases. Well, it's designed to be wonky, maybe. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to tell. Either way, it's not a big issue. Right. So we have the end piece for the gondola, which I can't remember which way around this. But um, goes. the um, crook goes to the front. Right. Uh, yeah. So this little crook part. That needs to go on there, just put a bit of glue. There's nothing on that one. Tap in a second. Like that, that's so. it. Just make sure we're level straight. Because we're not. Important part. There we go. And we have this bit here. So it should look like that. And that is going to go over there. That bit should stay on, shouldn't it? Because that's like the steering part. Yeah, that's like the... the, wood, would, the wood every part. time I see one of these, I think, oh, it's a bit of a flash. But it's not, <laughs> it's just the steering bit. Mm. And you stay on. Um, so let's glue that bit in place. That's it. Oh, man. Again, it's central. Mm. That's the key. There we go. Then we have this little bit, which is for holding the ore. You see that? It goes. Shit. Uh, <laughs> sorry, just knock something over. It goes in there. 
that right? Yep. That one? Yep. Does it go out like that? Uh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah it does. Yeah. Doubting myself. Yeah. It does like it? that. And then we have these two little fancy bits, which aren't on the other gondola. Um, they attach here and here on those back pieces where there's a V shape. So, put them on there. Could have gone on first. But. stuck to me. Hang on a sec. There we go. So that is the main gondola. I'm not going to stick this on just yet. It would go on there, however you wanted it to go on, because that's like where it attaches. Um, but obviously there's no gondolier, so I might put it on the boat somewhere, especially because we're doing a diorama. Okay, so that's how you stick the models together. Um, we do have another one of these actually for the game. Yeah. So again, <laughs> I don't mind using this. In, I don't know. I'm like, there's two gondolas next to each other. That's not unheard of in a canal. It's like yeah, that's true. This one does look cool. The two, there's a lot more fanciness. And she could always be in the gondola. Mhm. Mm Floating around. Could do with a gondolier then if it was going to happen. Oh man. Right. So, yeah. That's pretty awesome. Um, so, I've really got to think about what I'm going to do with these. So, as I said in the previous video, we've, these are quite quite late um, for us doing the video. Uh, we got it on time, it's just we've been busy mm -hmm. doing other things, big changes and stuff going on. Uh, in the background, yeah. Um, so we haven't had time to do any videos at all. Mm. So these have got left to the side, uh, which in one way is cool because now I've got time to think about them. So I'm not sure if these will be ready for the next set of videos, the next asset drop videos. Um, unlike the ones we did last time because they're ready. Because I've got to show you the the other one, the female one, uh, the heroines one. So this was the. <laughs> The kit from last month, it's quite heavy that actually. It is actually. With the, uh, I built up the base, so we've got all these little bits that came in the sand pack, and then we had the coral parts, which kind of stuck on with pipes, and then the actual model itself in the middle of that, the centerpiece. Uh, that's quite cool. Just how it keeps moving around, <laughs> I keep touching it because of the way I've got hold of it. But, um, yeah, I went a bit nuts on the base, try and frame the model really, try and use the whole base. So he's a bit on the screen, get off that. And uh, try and frame the whole base off. Yeah, I had a bit of a scare the other day when I came in and saw it because I thought that bit there yeah. looked like a spider would face palm the. <laughs> the side of it and I was well, like what bit... is that spider doing and these are just little bits that were in the coral bit and I just thought I'll try and make it like a plant growing out of the stone it doesn't look like a plant to me it looked like a spider would face plant at the side <laughs> of brilliant. that model that's brilliant <laughs> but uh, yeah I put the stones all the way around to build it up and then I've kind of covered that with loads of stuff as I've been going along so I kind of went a bit nuts but um, the model is an excellent model mm. by the way uh, so there we go, that's the diorama from last month. As I said, I don't think these ones will be ready for the next one. Um, I'll do my best to get them ready, but I've only got a couple of weeks really, I think, now left. And we're going to be quite busy. So stay tuned. Uh, I think I said, I said in the Heroes one, if you want to see me use the water effect, put it in the comments, because it'll take me a while to paint them and get this ready and decide what I'm going to do. And the water effects the very last part. Um, and I've got two lots of it now. 
so it's exactly the same one so I don't have to worry about like mixing them together because they're the same um, but I really look forward to trying it yeah. I love the idea of water effects this one's a murky one so it'll be interesting cool. so stay tuned for that and then we've got this ultimate wash let's have a look at it doesn't smell like algae it certainly looks like algae <laughs> Uh, <laughs> there we go, so that's uh, I've never had any of these ultimate I don't know, is, it, is that the company? Ultimate products <laughs> What Who? did you just say? Ultimate products oh, I thought you said ultimate frolics <laughs> Okay I said ultimate Ultimate modelling product Although if there's any companies out there called Ultimate Frolics, I'm not sure what they make. I'm not sure it'd be suitable for this channel. I'm gonna go away now. <laughs> right, on that note, we're gonna leave. But uh please like and subscribe, it helps out loads. Uh check out Asset Drop. Um they also give money to the Blue Marine Foundation. It's a cool site. Um if you do a bit of spare cash and you like, well, like a random treat at the end of the month, it's great. Um, that's, that's why I do it, because I like surprises. Paul's loving it. I'm loving it. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say, I, th I think you get your money's worth. It's not a cheap thing to do. Ever to, any of the subscription boxes I've ever seen, I wouldn't say we're ever cheap. But I would say you get your money's worth. And if you like surprises, a subscription box is always cool. Yeah. Uh, and these guys are awesome. Uh, everything, every time I've spoken to them, I've sent pictures of my models. They've asked me um, questionnaires well, and stuff the, like yeah, that. Yeah, the last time they sent you like a little uh, pot of paint. <laughs> yes, they did. Um, for sending them pictures of the models. Uh, yeah. And they're really cool people to deal with. And they always answer my emails. And they're great. That's all I can say. They're mm. great. So, if you if you fancy in a miniature based subscription box i can only recommend these guys totally uh, there we go so thanks for watching please like subscribe uh next stay tuned for the next month's asset drop which is only in a couple of weeks i imagine there'll be the monster one then and then i can show you off the orc which is finished and ready for last month and is my favorite of the three models i got last month, even though i liked the other two and that that model just showed me the it was, it was awesome i've seen that on dark so many shit before um that's an awesome model um, the orc was my favourite just because it maybe because it's 40k related and I, as soon as I saw the bits of it I knew exactly what I was going to do with it and yes I even did some use of some water effect on that as well Ooh. Um, so yeah and that because the water effect I've used previously is this stuff um, which is awesome it's really easy to use so I really want to see how this works I imagine this takes a bit longer to set the other one sets in about two, four minutes, depending on the size of the area you're using. Right, so anyway, anyway, you guys take care, and uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon. See you soon. Bye for now. Bye.